Good evening fellow YouTubers and subscribers. Welcome back to Sam's Allotment. Thought I'd nip down today. Um, been an absolutely hectic week so I sincerely apologise about the uh, lack of uploads. Um, I know you tell me I shouldn't apologise but I feel I have to. Um, it's just how I am, who I am. Um, yeah, it's been just chaotic week. You know, general life sometimes, you know, gets a little bit thingy. So, uh, but appointments left, right and centre and... Yeah, so I've not really been able to get down here, guys, and get any progress done this week, to be truthful with you. Uh, but I thought I'd nip on and just say hello and show you I'm still here. Um, but, yeah, but I'm quite surprised at the difference in a couple of days, if I'm truthful with you. Um, yeah, there's a, quite a big difference in the colour and everything else and the grass. And, yeah, it's, everything's changed to a degree. Um, it's all this wet weather we've had. I'll be honest, I've not really been able to get down here as well because of how wet it's been. Um... But yeah, today I've come down, I've propped up these uh, foxgloves. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to do foxgloves again next year. They seem very messy and uh, a lot of hard work, if I'm honest. I'd rather fill the bed with Sweet Williams, to be quite honest with you, because they are gorgeous little flowers. I um, absolutely love how they look, especially that one. Um, so if I can seed them, I'm going to try and seed them. Um, yeah, it's all, it's all coming along, guys, it really is. Uh, the sunflowers are all taking lovely. Um, Obviously loving this weather as always. Um, the Brussels sprouts, I'll be honest with you guys, have uh, done doing pretty well. Um, shooting up now they are. I've had a slight issue with that one there. I don't know what's going on there. But I do need to get in there over the next couple of days. And I do need to get weed in it. Because, uh, yeah, don't want the plant fighting with the weeds. So, uh, yeah, I need to get myself in there and get it sorted. Um, but that's the job for the next couple of days once it dries up. Um, the flower pots... Wow, they've just gone boom. Um, especially this one over here. This one's just gone absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, it's just like an explosion of colour. <laughs> so, yeah, looking really good. Um, I do need to go and dead add a load of them though. Um, the thing with petunias, the more you dead add them, the more the flower. So, uh, it's a job for the list as well. Um, the ice, little gem lettuce are looking fabulous. Quite surprising compared to what the ones in the greenhouse look like. I thought I'd have struggled more with the ones in the greenhouse than I would out here, but these are not looking as good as the ones in the greenhouse. Um, tomatoes are still looking okay. Um, yeah, the flowers are coming along on the border as well. The cauliflower, guys, there is one still left in, um, but yeah, the rest of them, some of them are lost because they went really tingy orange. I can't eat them when they're like that. I prefer them when they're nice and white. Um, you know, I just think they taste a lot better as well. Uh, the sprouting broccoli, guys, absolutely amazing. Um, really, really is coming up fantastic now. And there's little side shoots coming out of these as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm really intrigued to see what I get from these, if I'm truthful with you. Um, yeah, so time will tell. Um, I think it was Terry King that said there uh, were red. No, you can start picking it around about January, which is uh, massively appreciated, Terry, because I didn't know that. I didn't know they were a long term crop. Um, I really do need to look into my veg a lot more than I'm doing. Um, I'm planting things, but not really thinking of the long term you know, aspect. So, yeah, a lot of reading and research to be done. So, yeah, they're all up now. What I'm going to do also on my list as well is to get all of this weeded and edged out and stuff. Um, hopefully when it dries up I can cut the grass because the grass has just gone crazy now to be honest um, really really has picked up um, yeah and the potatoes wow are doing absolutely fabulous um, yeah I'm really looking forward to seeing what I dig back up out of there to be honest um, and obviously I did infill the trenches with uh, my compost as well um, sunflowers guys I think that's going to be my best that one there, one on the end um, at the minute he's standing a lot taller than the rest time will tell though I've had it before where some flowers have gone tall then slowed right down the others have just gone boom straight past it so time will tell um, the pumpkins are still okay um, don't think it's enjoyed this weather though um, yeah French runner, climbing runner beans have just started coming up now um, I'm a little bit behind because as you can tell this gentleman here his are like that now um, so yeah I'm a little bit behind but uh what we'll do, I'll jump over to the greenhouse, guys, and I'll see you in the greenhouse. Right, guys, so here we are in the greenhouse. Um, yeah, it's been been quite well, to be honest. It's done quite well, should I say. Sorry, I'm keeping its moisture content, because I've not been down here for three days to water, so it's uh, held up really well. So that spent compost that I uh, put in with it must have uh, must be helping keep the moisture really well, so uh, really pleased. 
not overly fond on how some of these tomato plants are looking. Some of them have got quite, you know, they're quite going quite strange at the top, quite bushy and condensed. I don't know what that's about. Um, so if you've got any information on that, guys, leave that in the comments for me. It'd be massively appreciated. The radish, yeah, they're looking pretty cool as radish can look. Um, yeah, I've got some quite a few in there to be honest. So yeah, intrigued to see what I get from the radish if I'm truthful. Um, little gem lettuce, guys. They've done really well in the greenhouse as you can tell by the ones outside these are a lot bigger um from the same batch as well so yeah hope there's some really nice little gem lettuce to come on just constantly keep spraying them with a nice fine mist keeping the ground nice and moist at all times and the leeks are looking absolutely marvelous so i'm really impressed with them um like i say these are just an experiment i've just done it this way to see if i can get the fatness of the leek the width the girth whatever you want to call it um yeah you know just just testing the boundaries really just having a bit of fun and um, that's all them leeks are about obviously the main leeks are out there in this bed here that i'm going to be eating may or may not be able to eat these i don't know um the f1 tomato i've got three of them in there now um yeah i'm not side shooting these ones because i want to just see what happens um being the f1 sweet one william so yeah quite intrigued to see how many i get off these and um, the cucumber though guys wow um i'm impressed nice size cucumbers uh bigger than my hand as you can tell so yeah and there's uh two behind them two that you can see and then there's the one hanging there and there's still plenty of fruit like forming all the way up so yeah i'm really intrigued to see what i get from this but yeah them cucumbers were lovely last year i need to find out what what strain they are guys um someone did ask me in the comments i've still not got back to um which i apologize sincerely for um but I'm not actually sure what they are, neither myself. Um, but I will try and find out from my grandma. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you on that once I can speak to my grandma and find out what the actual name of them are, because I do want to invest a packet of seeds of these. Because um, last year, excess, I had two plants and I had an excess of about 160 cucumbers off the plants. It was a crazy year last year for cucumbers. So, yeah, but it's all coming on, guys. Um, I've got the peppers up here. I'm going to let that produce a lot more uh, leafage first and I'm going to snip the top out on it, um, just on the tip. I'm just going to snip the tip out and let it produce better side shoots. Apparently it's about to get more crops, something I've researched myself, I'm just intrigued. Little gem lettuce, still haven't come up just yet, and nor's the uh, all year round cauliflower. The sweet corn mini pops, they're all doing absolutely fabulous. So I will have some kind of sweet corn, but it'll just be the baby, little tiny baby corn, which are gorgeous in a salad. Um, my salad leaf mix is growing nicely here as well. Um, my Lisbon, Lisbon white bunch and onions, um, they've come up really nice now. Um, I realised why they were only forming better in one corner, it's just how I was watering them and the angle the box was at. Um, and the watermelon I've also planted on today. Um, yeah, because the pots they're in is like the one at the top there. So, uh, yeah, it needed potting on, but I'm going to put one in there and then probably do one in the ground as well. So, uh, yeah, there's not really a lot gone on, guys. Um, my daughter's bed's looking well as well. Um, got my bird table up as well. What I'm going to do is take out a nice big section of this wood here um, and then basically... Um, create like a, a wildflower mix, put a wildflower mix in there. But at the same time, try and incorporate a hedgehog home as well, because um, I don't mind hedgehogs living under the decking. I just don't really want the foxes anymore because um, the damage they're creating for a lot of us. Um, so, yeah, we, when they've fled the nest, I will be uh, sorting the uh, sorting it out, basically. Um, the foxes are still well. They're still living. They're quite big. I physically cannot get no footage of them because they've become a lot wiser now. Um yeah, and they are twice the size of what they were. So, uh, yeah, can't really update you on any videos of the foxes, I'm afraid, guys. Uh, um, but, yeah, he's, yeah, the, the well, that's that's the main thing. Um, they're still here. Um, not seen anything of them myself, but, uh, yeah, we'll have to go from there. But, no, welcome to the uh, new subscribers as well, guys. Um, thank you very much for hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching the channel and supporting the channel. Really, really is appreciated. Um, hopefully guys I should get back to regularly uploading again over the next couple of days and yeah we'll go from there guys um, so yeah for now guys we'll leave it there and I shall hopefully catch you on the next one guys so for now take care bye bye